Hi, I'm Paul Tista with Team Teeny Still Realty. You probably have seen me if you live in Mapleton. Um, I sell here. I live here. I've lived in Mapleton for, for about 12 years. I started selling homes in 1995 in Mapleton and have sold over 1,050 homes in Utah County. There's a couple things I'd like to do to help you as you're selling your home for sale by owner here. And one of those is introduce you to me. So if you have questions when you're selling your home, and you need advice or you get offers that you're confused about, you can contact me for free and I will help you out as much as I can. Also, giving you the forms. In my video, I'm gonna show you um, what forms I can help you out with. People may bring you offers and you may need the forms like the purchase contract, the sales property condition disclosure, or counter offer addendums. I'll provide all those forms to you for free. I'll send them, email them out to you. I'll also come over to your house if you'd like me to, and I'll give you my opinion on how your home is uh, shows, and I will give you my opinion on a market analysis. I'd like to give you a second opinion on what your home's worth. It, wouldn't it be nice to have someone that lives in Mapleton that is familiar with the sold comparisons to actually compare you out and give you a true and accurate price on your home? And that's what I'd like to do for you. Also down below in the description, I have created a video of my what, I th what direction I think the market is going this year in Mapleton and what's happening in our current market. So go ahead and feel free to click any of those links and also my full listing presentation if you are thinking of hiring a realtor. I'd like to um, show you what I can do, which is totally different than our competitors. But anyway, um, anything I can help you with as a fellow Mapletonite, please call me at any time. I'd like to prepare a CMA on your home, or what us realtors call a comparative market analysis. This is where we go in and look at the value compared to other homes that have sold or are active or under contract in your neighborhood. And I realize you may have had other people give you ideas or opinions, but it's really good to get a second opinion about what your home's worth, especially from someone that has been in the business for a long time and can give you a very accurate number and valuation on your home. I'm going to be very blunt about the value of your home and give you some true and realistic prices of what I think your home is worth. So getting a second opinion is very valuable. What I do is I go in and I look at all the active homes in your subdivision that are similar to your home. So this is one that I did on a particular home and we pulled up the active homes in that subdivision um, that are homes that are for sale. And then down here, um, also, we pulled up what are called the under contract homes, and there was only one uh, that was close to this home that we were um, doing a CMA for. So we also want to look at under contract homes. Those are homes where sellers have received offers and they're under contract. So there's a buyer pending on that particular home. And then we're going to look at the sold ones, and this is where we've got a little bit bigger inventory. You see over here, these are all the sold homes that are similar to our subject um, and what we do is we put in all the specs about your home right in here bedrooms bathrooms you know half bath full bath square footage percentage finished in the basement and you know how many garages you have your acreage and they give you a valuation of what your home is worth now what what this does the software goes through and makes an adjustment for um, each of the comparing you to each of the homes in those different categories and it's interesting to look at how you compare not only to the sold homes but the under contract homes and the active homes um, that are currently for sale those are actually your current competition so typically my report is usually about 15 pages um, long but one other thing that's really interesting is that as you look at the map um, you can see it'll plot out where the homes are um, in comparison to yours. So here's the subject right here, letter A. We actually put that one under contract a couple days ago. And um, here's the other homes that are active. The green are the active, yellow are the under contract, and the sold are in the red. So here's our under contract over here. So you can see you want to have your comparisons in a close proximity. All of these comparisons are within uh, probably a mile or maybe three quarters of a mile radius from the subject, which is which is a, a lot more accurate if you can get them close together. So give me a call. I'd like to give you a free comparative market analysis on what your home is worth. 
as you're selling your property, you may find a buyer that doesn't know how to put an offer together. And that's why having a real estate purchase contract on hand is going to be very handy. And you may want to have this um, to give to your buyer. This is the real estate purchase contract. And I'd be happy to give you a, co a copy of a blank one of these. This is a six page form, as you see down in the bottom left corner. And it specifies how much earnest money you're putting down how much, um, what your offer price is, when you would like to settle and close on your property, when they're going to do their inspections. You can't just sell your property on a handshake or, or feel like you have some kind of commitment. These things need to be put into writing. If you have questions about the purchase contract, you know, just let me know, but I'm happy to send you a blank copy. The other thing is, is a counter offer, or if you, you know, want to add things to your contract. We call these addendums. I can send you some blank addendums as well. And the third thing that is really important when you're putting your property for sale is doing proper disclosures. This is the laws in Utah require you as a homeowner to make full disclosure of your property. For example, if you've had a leak in your roof, you need to disclose if that leak has been repaired or if it's still leaking. Um, and so right here in this section, is talking about the roof and you you specify what's going on with the roof if this repair has been made now this is a seven page form and if you don't fill out the seller's property condition disclosure you're telling the buyer that you basically everything's working and you're creating a liability for yourself so it's very important to be 100 percent honest and have the buyer also sign and agree to their seller the seller's property condition disclosure so if you'd like a copy of this as well feel free to let me know and I'll send you a blank copy of this form. Um, I just hope to be there if you should choose to interview a realtor uh, for the job of selling your home. But I'll send you all these things and give you whatever help I can for free. If you follow this arrow on the left, you'll see on the YouTube video some extra links under the description. One of those is my opinion about the current market conditions in Utah County. What the forecast is, what's going to happen with the market, you may be interested to see my opinion about that. Also, my full listing presentation. If you're considering hiring a realtor, you may want to check out what we can do and compare it to other realtors. Also, down below in the video links, you'll see how to search for homes if you're going to stay in Utah County, um, how to find short sales, bank foreclosures, and stuff like that in Utah County. So give me a call today, and I'd be happy to help you with whatever you need.